I feel like giving up. I just want to give up in my life. Ever feel like you want to give up? But there's something in you that says don't give up, never give up in life. Or then you flip all of a sudden and say life is not worth living. And then something comes back again and says never give up hope. Do not give up. Hey everyone, this is James Nussbaumer, and I'm the author of the Master of Everything book series with many volumes. Book, uh, the third book just now being released, and up to 16 is planned. It's great. It's fun. But, you know, uh, as we get going, I want to in, in, in talk to you about the power of reflection. And uh, in the description box down below, you will notice a link, and that link will take you, a safe link, that will give you access to a free video showing you the power of reflection for helping you to not give up in life and to make your life worth living. You know, did you ever play golf for you golfers out there? Or even if you're not a golfer and, uh, you know, not pouring down rain, but that kind of steady, steady, slow rain, even a little bit more than a mist, but kind of a steady rain, not windy or stormy, just kind of a steady solid, not a downpour, but just that soaking. And you're on the golf course and you're playing and you have to play and it's miserable, uh, you know, and that's what I, the conditions I played in today. And, um, you know, and it was wonderful. You might say, well, how is it wonderful? I mean, walking around, carry the umbrella, trying to keep your rag uh, towel clean and hanging it under the umbrella and making sure your golf glove doesn't get too soaked and trying to keep your grips dry when you're ready to make a swing and all that. That's what today was like in sloshing through bad turf and muck and all that stuff. <laughs> you know, literally when you think about it, it was um, really kind of miserable, but I loved it. Because, you know, I shot a good score today. I played one of my best ever. So there you go. That has it. Um, it just seems like everything I shot into the greens stuck and held, and I rolled in the putts. But, you know, I think of back when, uh, for those of you that know my story, when I had spent, I'd spent eight long years of a 10-year prison sentence in a state penitentiary where my writing had started, and I'd, I'd uh, what kept me hanging on was thinking about someday I'm going to be playing a lot of golf. And I just was, as I was playing today and we were waiting on the group ahead of us, play was kind of slow because uh, we were in a group that was, uh, there was not a lot of people out on the course, but the group I was with uh, was um, plentiful. So uh, sometimes things would slow up a little bit. And while I was waiting over a shot and I was reminiscing back to my days when I was, in prison and getting ready to be shipped off to prison. And I was remembering one time where the deputy, when I was in the county jail, waiting to go to prison, had apologized to me and was very pleasant as she smiled with a mindful gesture, never really saying anything, but her mindful gesture was like she was saying to me, never give up hope. You know, it's like she could see something in me and we kind of had a, a connection together. Um, she was quite a bit younger than, than me, about 21 years old. I, in fact, in a previous article, I talked about her uh, resembling my 21-year-old daughter at that time, and I was age 50. And, um, and she pointed me to enter the tiny cell where I would remain for at least another 30 days. And, but there was an urge inside of me, some kind of an urging, like a, a tug within me, like a tug on my heart, or an inner voice perhaps telling me, do not give up. Was something in me that was just, I just wanted to like figure out ways to end it all and, and that too. But, but then there was something saying, do not give up. So I was still to be sentenced. I wasn't sentenced yet to the 10 years, which would mean that I'd have one more trip to the, another round trip to the courthouse and back because I was residing in the county jail. I couldn't come up with bail money. And I was told that due to prison overcrowding, that even once I was set, sentenced, that I would have to wait for, I'd be waiting in the county jail for a prison bed in the state of Ohio to open up. Well, during that, during that time, a pre-sentence investigation was being performed, which would weigh heavily on the judge's decision as to 
how much prison time I would receive. And I was also told that my sentence could be determined could be determined by my ability to pay fines. You know, just like in the old Western days I'd talked about before, the old cowboy movies you might have seen on television or read about in books, when a judge would say, that'll be 30 days or $30, it's up to you. Pay me the $30 and we'll let you go. Or if not, that'd be 30 days. So, you know, that kind of a scenario. But in my case, I was flat broke. And so how would I possibly have the attitude of never giving up hope? I mean, I couldn't even get bail money. So if this scenario about my lack of funds for paying fines were true, you know, I was uh, in deep doo-doo, very deep doo-doo, and that was quite a depressing doo-doo, kind of like the doo-doo I was in today on the wet golf course, but for some reason that was not depressing. But at that time, though, that same urge inside me, that familiar tug to my heart, it seemed like a friend inside of me. It was like an inner voice. That inner voice would gently and lovingly whisper to me. It would say, begin right now, in this instant, to make your life worth living. And that's what I decided to do. And that's why I want to encourage you to check out The Power of Reflection. The link is in the description box down below that will lead you to that uh, safe video that will show you um, all about the power of reflection and how it can literally turn your life around. Thanks for listening to me, and I wish the best for you. And um, I don't advise playing on wet golf courses, but, you know, if you're a golfer and you're listening to this and you've uh, shot a decent score on a wet and soaky rainy day, you know it was worth the while, worth the wait, worth the not giving up, correct? Thanks again, everybody. God bless.